Thank you very no. much. Thanks for Thank coming you. in. Okay. <clears throat> go. So we've got um, Janet and Joy from um, Birdlings Flat community. Welcome. Good to see you. Hi. The floor is yours. Hello. Hello, I'm Janet Reeves and this is my friend Joy Dixon and we're both residents of Birdlings Flat. Um, up on the screen, you can see Birdlands Flat. It's a fairly compact settlement, um, and we're surrounded by uh, open land, which is vegetated with um, native shrubs, mostly. So we're very concerned that Birdlands Flat is very susceptible to fire. Um, there's a number of old abandoned properties as well as quite a few recent new builds, um, many of which are constructed of wood to keep in character. Um, many people use wood burners for heating and their wood is stacked up against the fences and houses. And being surrounded by open land with native vegetation, it's generally quite flammable and we're prone to wind to fan fire. So I'm just going to run through some pictures of Birdlands Flat, if you're not familiar with it. Um, so there's new properties like this one. Um, there's old properties that are quite run down and often they've been abandoned. Um, other new property. And there's, you know, there's vegetation that's um, quite dry. Uh, properties like this with lots of wood about and very flammable. Um, empty sections, which are sometimes um, not maintained. Um, this is beach vegetation. Um, and this, this is uh, actually council reserve. Um, so that's road reserve there, but there's a big council reserve as well. Um, and then this is uh, conservation land. Um, so and then you can see you know how close uh, that vegetation is to the houses um, so the problem is that Birdlands flat has a restricted water supply um, there are no fire hydrants um, we only have one tank uh, by the community center which is where they get the water for firefighting and of course the tanker that they bring with them and some properties for both of us um, up to 780 metres away from this tank. Um, so if there is a fire, they've got to go back there and fill up the fire tanker with the, or fire truck with the water from that tank. And because it's a restricted supply, um, it doesn't fill up again quickly. Um, so the solution is either to provide more water tanks in strategic locations around Birdlands Flat so that the fire service can tap into them nearer to whichever house is at risk, or um, speaking to the fire service, um, they've said that they would like to provide access to Lake for the fire tanker so they can fill up their um, tanker with water. Of course, the lake is there, um, full of water, but they can't access it. This is a this is a private. Um, it's not private. Sorry, it's a paper road um, that leads down to the lake edge. So if they could get their fire tankers down there, that would be an alternative solution to the tanks. And we just heard recently that the fire, the Little River Fire Service, would prefer that. Um, so. This hasn't just arisen, this problem. It's been around for a while. And in 2018, um, two residents made a presentation to the Banks Peninsula Community Board. Um, everyone was supportive of the proposal to put in more tanks. Um, the um, investigative work was carried out by staff and they, they found some potential locations for the tanks. And the fire emergency agreed to that proposal Unfortunately, then nothing happened, and I think this was mainly due to the staff member that was looking after it 
retired and it sort of got lost in the changeover. Um, and so it wasn't until September 22 that um, fire service said, where's our tanks? And they hadn't been done. Um, and this was apparently due to an oversight. Um, and now we find that uh, there's nothing in this annual plan to put in our water tanks or as the alternative to um, uh, make up the road that goes down to the lake. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <coughs> now you had half a second left and Tyler had his hand up so he can answer, ask one very quick question. <laughs> yeah, thank you. It was actually just, just for staff, seeing it in light of it being since 2018, just to maybe just get a small update or an email. I don't really want to report on okay. um, the update on, on this. Yep, fair enough. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming in. Good to see you. Thank you. So here we have uh, the next one.